All right, guys, welcome back to the farm here, and today I'm going to do something a little different. You can see I cut some grass yesterday, and got right over there on the other side of that trailer. Hit a piece of metal, then I got over here on my mower and, and hit my damn safety chain, and I think it's bent my blade. You can see it's not cutting very, very evenly no more. I actually had to raise it up because it was gouging. So I thought I'd show you how I'm going to change these blades on my 2006, I believe. Uh, pretty sure it's a 2000. It might be a 2007, but I'm pretty sure it's 2006. Craftsman YS4500. This has got the uh, 20 horsepower Kohler motor on it. And uh, it's got the automatic drive. And I'm pretty sure it's made by MTD because it's got this lever here instead of up through here. Also has a nice hour meter on it. And here's the Kohler Courage the gas tank here and the batteries up on the seat. So some of these craftsmen are different. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to remove the deck. It's pretty easy. Uh, as some of you may already know, they do make a ramp thing that you can put under there and lift up to uh, get the blades off. But you might not have that available. I don't have one. I have crank them up with a hand winch or a floor jack. But to me, it's just this, this deck gets... It gets covered up in grass clippings and, and everything, and it's just easier to pull it out, turn it over, dump the grass off of it. And uh, you can inspect stuff a little easier, you can inspect the bottom of your deck better, and it's easier to get those blades. So, first step is we're going to lift this thing down as far as we go. See? It'll go all the way down to one. And we may have to adjust on that a little bit to give us some slack, but I might have to put you on a tripod. We'll get on here and see what's going on. Oh yeah, you will get your knees a little dirty. Oh, and the blades I'm gonna use are the premium heavy duty blades with the five star center. This is a 42 inch cut tractor. These blades are a little more expensive than the uh, the cheaper ones they offer, but only a couple dollars more, and they last a whole lot longer. Uh, yeah, and they come as you see, they're completely wrapped in plastic. The only thing I don't like about them is getting that, that hard plastic off, but we'll get her off. All right. So first step is to get under here and see what kind of clip system we got so once you get underneath here you'll see this particular deck only has one front brace so that that little clip there has to be removed to remove that rod coming over here we got a clip up here that runs back to back here these clips you can just usually let's see if I can get you set up. Let's see what I'm doing. All right, so normally you can you can just turn them sideways, lift up, <clears throat> pull them out, then remove the uh, washer, and then we'll just unhook this and just lay it on the deck. Back here, and on your lift part, this is where you adjust your height. You have another one the same way. You just want to take it, just work it out, remove the O-ring, and let that fall free. And then we'll go ahead and get the one in the front. It's a little, little longer to get to, but it basically works the same way. Just got to lift up on one end. Pull it out, push the rod out. 
All right, now on this side, which would be the left side of the tractor, you have a cable that comes down from your blade engagement. That'll have to be undone. Also, you can wait. You could, could do it first. Uh, when it's held in by this little bracket here with this car, uh, hitch pin, I'll just pull this hitch pin out. Get it off my finger. And then we can move this bracket. See, pull it back, lift it up out of that bracket there, and we'll just let it lie loose right now. Till we get to the other side, we'll pull this deck out on this side, and we'll take that uh, cable off once we get the deck partial way out. It's over here on the right side. We have that clip there and this clip right here. It's exactly like what's on the other side, except these are the only two you have to fool with. So first, we'll take this out, like I said, just lift up. Pop it out. Washer off. Drop that down. I did adjust this a while back because my blade was wasn't cutting quite evenly. So I'm gonna have to change that back since I've replaced them. The next one right under here. Pop that back down. And now we are ready to pull this deck out. Alright, once we get all them pins loose, we gotta undo them. Unloose, uh, loosen the blade belt and as you can see it's kind of held in between two of these little brackets here and goes around so pretty easy just to take it out of that take it out of that just lay it free now I'm ready to pull this deck out. I'm just going to grab the pulley and I'm going to watch this cable give it a little bit of slack because it's easier to get to it. Get to this last part. If I can zoom in on it right here. It's just a spring that clips into the uh, this bracket right here. So this is just a spring that clips into this bracket. And once you get it slid out where you can see it good, it's real easy to just unhook it and move it out of your way. One handed. Now, if you're. Now, this deck's pretty heavy. Uh, you can drag it pretty easily. But if you got to tote it, I would recommend getting two people to tote it because it's just uh, it's a little bit unweldy with one person. And now I'm just going to flip it over on towards the front. Yeah, right. There, you could do it from the back. Either way, and now I can see I've got a bent blade. <laughs> you can see it pretty well right there. <clears throat> but also I can check and make sure this area is good and straight. I can look for build up around here. And now that I'm ready to remove them blades, put these on with an impact and so you're probably going to have to have an impact to get them off. I'm going to use a 5 8 socket and I'm going to hold the blade. This is, I don't know if 
that's supposed to be. The other end off, this one spins freely. So this may be an indication that the spindle's going bad. And I do have some build up on here. And that's for cutting wet grass. Alright, so I got the packaging off. This uh this decal they put on here will not come off very easy. So you just want to make sure you peel it away from your star hole. And you notice Maybe you can see it if I can get it up here. This is grass side. So this is going to be the position it's going to be in with the lift towards the deck. Now you can, as you can see, I've hit something pretty hard with that right there. Now if you put them in like this, you can see. They're not going to hit, so it's really, uh, it don't really matter what position you put them in. I always put one one way and one the other or somewhere close to that. You want to make sure it's very well seated. And here's where you get in trouble if you're just doing it jacked up in the air. And, you're trying to fill under there, sometimes these things will get loose and you'll force it down on that star and it'll actually uh, deform that spindle star and then you'll have issues later on down the road and you'll have to replace the spindles, I know from experience because I've had to do that. So tighten them up. I'm gonna go get me a, a blow gun. Right. So now we'll flip it back over. And I like to go ahead and blow the rest of the grass off around these spindles. One benefit of pulling that deck is you can clean your clean out from around those spindles. And another thing I've noticed, I've got to replace the uh, brake pads on this deck. These are your brake pads right here, as you can tell. Let's see if I can get it to release here. You can tell they're. Pretty well wore out. But that's what actually stops your brakes from spinning. I mean, yes, that's what actually stops your uh, blades from spinning after you disengage your blade control. So that's a pretty important safety feature. And I'll probably be ordering that. Looks like they just. They just bolt on, you got two sets. This one's got a little different set up here. Uh, I don't know exactly what all that is. Got a spring or something on it, but yeah. So now we get to slide it back under here. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to push it. And I'm trying to get it about where it was lined up wise. And remember I gotta put my cable back on. Cable. I want to route it under this under this belt. And I want to route it over the top of it because it will be under. I'm just gonna stick it back in the hole right there. I'm push it back up. The first thing I'm gonna do is line up. All right, so the first thing you want to line up is this piece right here. You want to line it up, put it on that pin. Well, as you can, as you move around and get it about where it needs to be, it'll seat. And we can go ahead and stick our washer on here. And I know you can't see from my hand, but this is really a, a 
two-handed job here. Just putting these pins back in. Well, sometimes they want to hit that washer. Come on. Damn, damn pin. Like that. Now, you want to go ahead and go around and do the other side. Alright, so over here on the other side, I'm going to see. I can tell already I'm going to have to move this deck back. Uh, I'm hoping there's enough light that it actually shows up on camera. But I'm liking about a couple of inches. that back and line that up. Alright, now it's seated all the way. Put my wash back on. And now I can go ahead. So now I can go ahead and put this back on while I'm over here and I'll be done with this side. And now we're ready to go around and finish the other side. So now, I'm gonna get this down. Yeah. And put that, that on. got to uh, hook this bracket up. I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but I just want to pull it back. And there's a little, another little plastic piece that goes over the edge. And once you get that other plastic piece over the edge there, this thing will just slide in a groove that I can't really see from this angle. I think I'm over something. There it goes. All right. So now that's in. So the next thing is we can go ahead and put our blade on. We'll just drop that over in that, in that groove. That one, I mean belt, not blade. And slide it over the pulley. And grab that. There, and I know you can't see, but hopefully you can. We got that in the groove there. In the, in the, this one is definitely a two-handed job because this thing will move on you pretty easily. Ah, so that's what that's gonna look like. And oh yeah, there you are. And now we are through. Well, the only thing left to do is cut the grass and see if I got them leveled up right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.